bears, but probably within bears, there's some that have lighter fur and darker fur. Well, the ones that had lighter fur survived better in Antarctica, so over time, they reproduced better, and all the ones that had brown fur in Antarctica that were visible, uh, more visible, were there brown ones in Antarctica? Hide, Huh? Were there brown ones in Antarctica? Uh, I'm assuming. I don't know. Something else that's inter interesting is they say that you adapt to your environment and therefore you become a new species, right? Is that what they want to say? Uh, they tend to, right, but that okay. doesn't make you a new species. But how does adapting to your environment demand that you become a new species? Why can't you adapt to your environment and stay the same species that you are? You are. You, unless you're genetic. No, you're, you're, you're the evolutionist. You got it. How come, how come adapting to your environment requires that you change to become a new species? I, I, can't, I can't answer that, because there's no good answer to that question. They make up something, Dad! I don't Stop. think they even ask themselves that question. Um, and if so, what is the third party that gives them what I understand from species? studying it, serious evolutionists know that there's a big gap when, when, it, terms, when it comes to proving macroevolution. I mean, so if you're talking to somebody who's intellectually honest, they're going to say, look, yeah, we, we don't have any proof of that. It's a theory. Um, we, we think the fossil record lines up with that. We think we've observed some things that tend to say that that's true. But we can't prove any one small macroevolution thing has ever happened. Never, not to mention a series of, of macroevolutions that would result in something as complicated as the human eye or the human digestive system or everything else that's a part of the human body, right? So not only have we not seen one, even if you could find one to try to line them up in a way that is, each step is beneficial, uh, and results in something more complicated over successive generations. It's a huge leap of faith. That, in fact, the odds of it happening are impossible. It's a dumb theory, in my opinion. They want something that makes sense physically that you can see, and yeah, obviously yeah, you have I'm to have that, obviously but, you have to have faith in God too. So everyone is having faith in something. Exactly. There's just doesn't make sense. Right, their their faith is in their their faith is an attempt to say there couldn't have been an intelligent supernatural event that created it. So let me try to find some way to explain it uh, otherwise. And any attempt to suggest that there was an intelligent design uh, just doesn't fit in their paradigm enough to where they ignore it. So it's the best theory they can come up with without an intelligent creator. It's basically Romans one. Yep. I think it would be better if I weren't a Christian to think that life is just an illusion. Like people in other, so, um, some sort of called scientific Christianity or something, and they believe that li like you're the only one that exists and life is just in your mind. Like others are Like real. on that movie that Daniel that's likes that Dad doesn't like. I think that's the only other Inception. explanation. Is that yeah, like we're Inception. not really here. That's not Inception. This, this Seems like we're yeah, that real. life isn't really real. This is just a but dream. Then if that's true, then I wouldn't need to convince you because you're not real. I'm the only real one. I think we all exist in the mind of God more than anywhere else. Dad, I was talking about if I, if I were to choose... She doesn't really believe that. She said if she were to choose something Some other than Christianity. Yeah. <laughs>